Yo, what's up my YouTube nation, it's Legendary Justin. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and click that notification bell. Today we're doing a pet to epic video. In the first video, we got our pet to Ancient. We've got Spell Defy, Spell Proof, and Ice Ward. And let's see what we get at Epic. And then I'll probably do an update once we get the pet to Mega. Hopefully it doesn't fail. Let's just get this done real quick. There we go. And we got Fire Ward. Oh, Fireproof? Oh, no, boys. No, Fireproof. No, what the hell? I did not want Fireproof in my pet. What the hell? Well, that sucks. The only way this pet would not be a fail is if I got Fire Ward. And then I could put the Ice Ward on it. It would be set for fire and ice only. Which would be a, you know, decent double fire resist, double ice resist pet. But that's, it would have to get the fire ward at Mega. So that was a fail, but thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yo, what's up my YouTube nation? It's Legendary Just, I'm back. Finally to train my pet to Mega. We skipped all the training so that you guys would only have to watch the last game to Mega. We got Spellproof, Fire Ward, Ice Ward, and Spell Defy, or 5 experience from Mega. And our pet is the full 15 ward. We're hoping for Fire Ward at this point, but if we don't get Fire Ward, it's fine because we're going to socket Fire Ward either way. I th because then we're going to have, you know, double resist, double fire resist, Ice Ward, and whatever else we get. So it'll be basically your fire tanking pet. Storm Ward would be really good, or Fire Ward. Or balance ward so we want basically fire ward storm ward or balance ward those will all be really good options here we go we're just waiting for the advanced game to finish there we go your pet has not improved doesn't matter it's double pet xp we got these big ass mega snacks and here we go enfeeble okay so we did get enfeeble so this is gonna be an enfeeble pet which is fine feeble pets are nice a cast fortify is pretty nice as well though. I actually used to have the same exact pet. It was just like this. I think it had fire ward on it instead of fireproof back in the day. But all we have to do is socket the fire ward and then this will be like a really really good pet for fire and ice resist. It won't have storm but we can just deal with that you know. But definitely against fires it's going to be a very good pet. I don't know if I would use this in PvE. I don't think I would. I would... Maybe not even in quick match. I'd rather just rock full wards if I was going to do a quick match. I think this is going to be like a PvP pet. With just really high fire resist and also ice ward. Maybe with Aaron's pet, which is, I'll show you guys probably on another video. But his pet is Proof Defy, Fire Ward, Storm Ward, Fairy Fortify. You've probably seen the pet before if you watch my videos. And this pet's going to have, you know, the double fire resist. So. I'll tank a lot more to the fires. If he dies to a fire, I definitely won't die to that fire. I'll also be able to tank ice hits, which we haven't really had any problems with ice. We've won every 2v2 we've done so far. But he'll also tank storms more than I will tank storms. So I'll have that extra ice resist. I think I'm going to transfer this pet, put the fire ward on it, and ultra it. And then it'll be set for the level 60 life character. It doesn't have Maycast Fortify, but I think that's okay. I don't really need Fortify, but it is nice to have. Just having the extra fire resist is going to be fun, though. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Click that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And peace.